We're now on the roof of Birmingham New Street Station. It's a £750 million redevelopment. The plan is to extend the concourse three and a half times the size it used to be. It's 31 new escalators, 28 additional lifts, and that all increases the energy requirement. And therefore, we had to look at new ways of producing energy for the station, low carbon energy. This whole CHP scheme, combining to power scheme, has been the first for network rail on a managed station. We're generating our own power from a 1.6 megawatt electric engine sited on the roof of this station and the byproduct of that generation process, the hot water that will come out of that at 90 degrees will be pumped into an array of pipe work that will provide heating and hot water to different parts of the station and also to different parts of the city. There were many challenges as part of this scheme. We had to complete the design in a really short space of time and we had to use some unique and really innovative ways of manufacturing and producing the array of pipeware, which is just under a kilometre. Benji Bailey's off-site manufacturing process really assisted in compressing that timescale and the stringent programme that we had. And it's allowed us to make the business case work because in one, it's, there's less people on site, there's less issues with health and safety, less issues in terms of logistics. So there was less work to do on site as well in terms of welding and joints, etc. less waste. And therefore, Inge Bailey has allowed us to make this a really low carbon and viable initiative for this whole scheme. As an engineer, I'm very proud to have been part of this project. We've had many challenges along the way, but it results tonight in the final modules being installed that will provide green, sustainable energy for the people of Birmingham for the next 35, 40 years.